So it's it's see it's illegal. Uh, going back to Chris, Chris, isn't it really the media saying it's racist or hate to criticize the president? Aren't they making it a racial issue? Aren't they injecting race to divide and conquer? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I don't even believe in, when when people throw out the label of racist nowadays. I want to see what that person's saying because chances are they're saying something that that people don't want me to hear, and they have no and they have no way to refute what they're saying. So they just slap this label of racist on them because you know your sheep, the sheep out there, will just have an emotional response to that, and they they'll 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 they'll, they'll shut them out. You know. So when I hear racist, I actually want to hear what the person has to say. Absolutely. Um, well, it's certainly a political power. I mean, black leaders, white leaders, Hispanic leaders, Asian leaders do it. Because if you come out and make stuff tribal, we're designed to, to act that way at a fundamental level. Uh, people can get a lot of power out of that. But at the same time, how do we not, like, take the open borders. And I know you're saying you're past libertarian at anarchy level, but... As long as we have borders and governments, they are clearly using the migrant population to drive down wages and balkanize. But then if I just come out and engage in this, it almost feeds into it. So what do you do? Just let the New World Order do whatever they want? Hmm. Uh, boy, I kind of got lost there on that. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I kind of. No, 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 no. I mean, it's a very, very, very complex issue. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I don't blame you for, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm dumbfounded too, because I don't want to go around fighting with people. I don't want to go around, but I played a video earlier. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, it's up on prisonplanet.com of, of, of people at town hall meetings saying they don't want Obamacare being screamed at that they're racist. And the, the Hispanics are running around with Mexican flags screaming and yelling, saying, this is our country, we're going to kick you white people out, and then screaming inward at black people. I mean, it just seems like insanity. I think this whole immigration thing is like, it's a, it's a straw man, you know? If, 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 the, if we could get the government out of our economy and out of our lives, we would all live such prosperous, you know, easy life, lives. We wouldn't care about immigration policy. We wouldn't care about who, who was coming and who was going and all this other stuff. So I think that's what we should be focusing on instead of whether or not certain people can come here or not, you know. It's just that the issue is that we do have this big government system where we have to have the insurance, the ID cards, oh, yeah. the everything. And then the illegals are just above it all doing whatever they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get rid of let's get rid of all these all these welfare programs and let's get rid of that stuff so that it's a non issue. Well, that's I agree with you. No, no, I agree with you. And, and, and that's exactly what they were there mad about. They want the free health care. It's, it's, it's not free. Don't they understand that? No, they I'm, don't. They actually don't. Because every time you ask them who's going to pay for it, they go, well, why are you always concerned about money? And they, it's just totally removed from their mind. They, I, I, it, I, I, I'm starting to believe they really do think that the government just produces wealth out of nowhere. Because they, that's how they act. As uh, somebody uh, who's a black man... When you see the media saying, and of course they know it isn't true, they just brutally are using it cold bloodedly, like Alan Key said last week, as a as a political weapon. But when you just hear them say racist, 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 I mean, have you had people call you racist because you don't like Obama? Oh, I've had people call me racist all my life, all my life, because I don't fit into their little box of what they think, you know, an African American or black or whatever, you know, whatever the PC term is nowadays. If I don't fit into their little box, they call me a racist, and I, I look at it like a badge of honor. I must be saying something right if they're labeling me as a racist. What do they call you, a self-loathing black person? They'll call me racist, Uncle Tom. They'll go, "Oh, you're the kind of you're the kind. You must be one of those kind of black people that would join the KKK or you know something." This ridiculous, ridiculous lunacy, and I think it's hilarious because they have to resort, they have to resort to insults like that because they cannot, they cannot argue. They they have no argument to bring to the table. Yeah, they must think the Chappelle uh, piece is real when he plays the part of the black yeah, Klansman. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> you ever seen that? It's pretty funny. Oh yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I always ask them, tell me, tell me what position that I've, you know, if that, tell me one argument I've made that's a racist argument. Stop, stop just having a gut reaction and you know labeling me as labeling some group as a racist group because 
you don't like what their position is. Tell me what is racist about their position, and I haven't heard any answers yet. So, Well, I've also okay. found that the so-called left are a bunch of control freak eugenicists. You know, if you're talking about an actual even mid-level policy person, they're all the same. And, and Margaret Sanger and all of it, I actually find they're the real racist who absolutely. are smart enough. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They, they, I, think, I, think, I think, like, for example, the Democratic Party, in my opinion, the Democratic Party looks at black people in this country as, like, purchased votes. You know, these are my voters. These are my votes. I own them. I, I've propagandized them for so long that they're mine. And if you try and open up their mind a little bit, they're going to label you, label you as a racist so that people won't hear what you have to say. So I think they're the real racists. Well, I agree. I mean, when, when Keith Oberman and Chris Matthews and uh, Carlos Watson and all these guys get up on TV every day, I mean, every time I turn it on, they're saying, and I, I probably watch it twice a week, it must just be wall to wall. So I've seen CNN that it's racist. And here's the local paper, Freedom of Hate Speech. And uh, it's saying, and I've got national Spanish TV saying, arrest me, that it's racist. I mean, in America, I am being told that I m need to be arrested. And then they've got the state attorney general preparing for felony charges against somebody for sticking them on telephone poles. But then Obama can be in the Washington Post saying, stick my posters and my campaign signs on stop signs. <laughs> I mean, is that not hypocrisy? Sounds like it to me. Well, there's a lot of questions I could throw out at you, but I got a bunch of calls specifically for you. We've got on the line the gentleman who was out there with his AR-15. This woman walks over, the poster woman for dingbats of the planet. I don't mean to be mean, but I mean, I'm just so sick of idiots. <laughs> and she comes <laughs> over, <laughs> and she comes over and goes, you've got a fully automatic AK-47. And they always act like... Fully automatic is like a hydrogen bomb. In, I mean, if I wouldn't want a full auto uh, assault rifle, um, 30 rounds on single shot. If you're trying to actually aim, you know, you want the 30 rounds. You don't want, you want to be pull the trigger and shoot. Uh, now, if you had a heavy gun in a machine gun placement where you were going to have human wave attacks, then, then a belt fed machine gun would be good. But this, this worship of full auto and the power of it and how the media always shows handguns and calls them automatic weapons and it's this this magicalness of, of I mean it's all psychological warfare and she walks over and she goes your AK-47's full auto you go well it's an AR-15 and it's it's semi-automatic and, and and she's just such a I mean she's just such a moron no I mean these women will send their kids off to school they're they're, they're young men Telling them, don't overfight back if somebody attacks you. Uh, they uh, send their daughters to be you know, raped and killed in college and you know, n uh, never. I mean, these women all the time don't have guns. You better believe my daughters, when they move out of the house, they're going to know how to use guns. And if somebody starts busting in their door, they are going to kill you. And, 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 but no, the feminists are like, no, you got to make sure women are victims. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't say anything. No, no, I mean, I want you to comment on what I was just saying. Oh, I mean, yeah, I agree. Uh, you know what else is funny? It's like every every woman I've ever met that arms herself and, and, you know, takes pride in her ability to defend herself was always a really, you know, just a really cool chick. I mean, just, I don't know what I don't know what it is about, the, you know, you put a you put a gun in a woman's hand and teach her how to shoot it. And a lot of changes take place. They become empowered, and that's the kind of woman we want. Strong, smart, women that are teamed up with their men, that understand the systems against the family. Instead, the women are like, I'm with the government, and I'm going to show you. And uh, literally, they become the house slave, and they actually have government manuals on this. The woman's in the house, and this wasn't just with blacks. The Romans did this. When they would enslave a German or French tribe, the Gauls, or the Vandals, or, or the others, the, the Austrians, the Austriagoths, they would grab them and put the men out in the barn and the women inside and teach the women how to be over the men. Were you aware of those systems? Whoa. Uh, I, 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 I haven't heard of that. Well, that's what feminism is. And Gloria Steinem admits she's CIA in her own book and was there to break the family up. And we're on to their scam. And there's nothing better than an empowered woman. Super sexy.
Let's go ahead and uh, I, I mean I hate these cowardly chicken neck domesticated little little women that think their power is hating their man and putting their kids on Prozac and Ritalin and lording around the house with their weak husbands groveling. <laughs> Those women are totally unhappy. But see, they pimp you, and then the state pimps them. Let's go ahead and take a call from Jake in Texas. You're on with one hell of an American, one hell of a person who loves liberty. You're on the air with a man who had the AR-15 strapped to his back as the liberty and freedom just spreads across the country. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a, what a good-looking gentleman you look like, my friend. <laughs> I got to say, I got to say, you your performance was exemplary. I have to say. Thank you. Keep your you hands know, uh, off him now. Anyways, go ahead, caller. <laughs> I have to say so myself. You know, you know what? One more thing you should have said. You should have said.